News 46 is brought to you in part by... Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from all of us at Rural Minerals and Hardware. Well, right now we're, uh, we're interested in the uh, state public safety response. Nye County Sheriff's Office is uh, handling the calls for service. We have search and rescue that's out there uh, assisting us in cases of any kind of evacuations or any, any citizens need to assist uh, uh, our services. The uh, Sheriff's Auxiliary Unit is also out there uh, assisting whatever they can. And we're pretty well prepared uh, for this. It's, uh, you know, we're just concerned about where the water's going. And uh, we're concerned about uh, if anybody's homes all of a sudden get overcome with water and how we're going to respond to that. We are Right now we have uh, sandbags being delivered from the VAT test site. Uh, they're going to be uh, stationed at uh, Boot Hill in case they're needed. Uh, we don't see those being needed at this present time, but we don't know um, what emergencies may occur. We're still we're getting uh, washed down from uh, Mount Charleston into the uh, lower valley. So that's our concern right now is the direction the water's going and if there's anybody needs any kind of assistance. We're more than uh, prepared uh, the county and town to respond to any emergency that we foresee coming and um, and we're we're just uh, working together making sure that uh, citizens are well served uh, especially here in Prom Valley this is where the, the real emergency seems to be occurring because of the water drainage I know that you are the sheriff for all of Nye County your Sheriff's Department are getting the majority of the phone calls from the citizens right now. What are you guys hearing? Well, the Sheriff's Office is getting, we get all the phone calls. Actually, do we, uh, we actually have the dispatch center uh, throughout the county. Uh, we're getting the calls to service and we're dispatching emergency uh, services where they're needed. And uh, people, most people are calling for, um, you know, for advice if, if for 160s closed or, if, uh, you know, what, what's going on. We always ask those people not to call us with those particular type of uh, inquiries. But we need to keep the phone lines uh, for, for the emergencies that are needed. Uh, anything to do with 160 and contact Highway Patrol or go online at uh, you know Highway uh, for the website. Uh, right now, 160 is open and clear into Vegas. There's no issues with that. Uh, we have uh, some road. If we have a road closure, the two that were mentioned by uh, Bill Kobarger, we're taking care of those. We're working in conjunction with uh, Knight County Road Department. Uh, they're doing an excellent job of assisting us uh, with uh, closing off those roads. Right now, uh, Homestead, the one of the major thoroughfares, seems to be an issue. We have uh, standing water there in some areas well over two feet, uh, some some areas three feet. And we're telling people just, if you see a puddle, don't drive through it. You know, flash floods, uh, we don't seem to have those issues as Vegas has. Uh, but if you get into involved in, uh, you know, driving through the water, you, you're doing so at your own risk because uh, you, you're, uh, you can get stuck. And uh, then we have to send a rescue crew. In fact, uh, we had to send a rescue crew out bef uh, before we had uh, someone that uh, got stuck in running uh, water. And uh, they had to go on the top of the roof of the car to be rescued. So, wow. uh, yeah, they, the water is deceiving. And you think you can get through with the car, but, uh, you know, sometimes you can't. The exhaust system gets uh, stuck and clogged and no place for exhaust to go. The engine will stall and uh, the, you'll get stuck there. Well, we got the highway. Uh, we have the uh, Sheriff's Auxiliary Unit out there uh, patrolling the main main drags first, see if those, are, those areas are clear and what uh, kind of issues they see. We also have search and rescue also uh, taking care of some of, the, um, some of the missions that we give them. So they're out there patrolling the streets, uh, you know, helping us, uh, you know, for any possible uh, areas where we might have to close the road or any areas of interest we might have to be looking at and allowing the deputies to respond to the other calls to service that the uh, sheriff's office is needed to, uh, to uh, what, add. What's some of the advice that you have to give citizens out there to stay safe? No car accidents uh, reported as um, of this morning, at least no um, ones um, that are of significance. And uh, as far as driving across the roadways um, through the water. Don't do it. I mean, we tell people don't do it. Uh, you just don't know. You can't read these roads, uh, you know, as well as you think you can. You think the roads are pretty, uh, pretty smooth, and you can look at homesteads being being a road where you know you think it's pretty level. All of a sudden, you start seeing that there's a very high accumulation of water, very deep uh, water. Uh, I would tell people, uh, you know, take, uh, you know, look for alternative routes. Um, you know, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. Uh, we had to put up the, on Homestead, the road department actually puts up these signs, but their signs are basically want people to, to know where the roadway is. Those signs are off in the, uh, in the shoulder, shoulder road. That's where the mud is, and if you go, you know, if you go off the shoulder into the mud, you're going to get stuck. We have quite a few vehicles stuck um, uh, that doing that right now. So uh, that, that's, that seems to be the major issue. You know, if you're going to go out, don't go out. Uh, drive safe. Uh, give your vehicles plenty of room between uh, your car and the car in front of you. Um, and just pay attention to the weather. 